You've got to get people excited about what they're doing. You've got to get them excited to tell other people about it. And you've got to give them the confidence. Especially when you're a young scientist, as I am, I know that the senior scientists, they, got, they get invited to give talks. And I feel something like that, you know, like I'm invited. The real value for this kind of meetings is that you would be able to see what's outside your own box. Like for example, my box is in genetics, so I would be able to see how people um, do things in rice production or post-harvest or even the market, market value chain, something like that. And we did the review of all the papers that were submitted as a blind process. So those reviewing the, uh, the papers didn't know whether it was a well-established scientist or a young scientist. And what was really revealing is, as I say, when we opened the envelope, it wasn't three or six uh, young scientists, it was 29. I know that science needs time. I know I have to be patient. And I know that the senior scientists I, am, I look at now, they've worked on the same topic for 30, 40 years, so it, it's not like it came within a year. So my father would always say that what you do is for the farmers and not just to publish your papers, but it, uh, your ulterior motive is to really help those farmers in what you produce in your lab. And it's only by getting involved and getting the approbation of their peers will they gain the confidence to do this again and again and again and that's how their careers will come on. That's very important. We've got to encourage these people and we've got to give them the confidence to put forth their views and if people don't, argue, don't agree with them at least to get into a sound debate with others about their work.